Hello and welcome to our 11th Monarch's Journey. This time we are playing as Strategos Kulin of Bosnia, which is a part of the Byzantine Empire. So if we use this map mode, we'll see what we actually have. And we can also use this map mode. Anyway, um, let's see what we actually need to do. We need to become the King of Bosnia and hold all of its de jure provinces and be independent, but, well, forming Bosnia requires us to be independent and completely control the duchies of Bosnia and Hum and uh, those will also become our de jure territories so basically if we become king of Bosnia we already complete the other parts of this task next we need to get 12 heretical courtiers we already have one so we'll probably just let him marry and hopefully uh, We'll get more and more heretics into our court that way. And lastly, we need to be at peace and independent for 12 years. And it resets on character death, so... If, well, I guess it's just like the uh, peace um, ambition thing for forging a bloodline. But only 12 years. Right, so... Uh, now, we are a vice royalty as a duke in the Byzantine Empire. And uh, we fortunately do have the ability to create a title, so let's quickly uh, get some extra gold so that uh, our leash doesn't create it and we actually have ourselves a primogeniture title that we are not going to lose because of course the vice royalty will go away when we die and then uh, we'll have to hope that the Byzantine Emperor gives it back to our new character, but with a primogeniture title we don't have to worry about that and uh, that also means that we can give these counties safely away because um, well we hold the primary title the duke title for these counties so uh, let's go ahead and do that and that helps us a little bit with our domain size what else do we need to do let's get a focus a business focus to earn back that money that we uh, to spend on the duchy so that we can repay the money lenders let's also build a wire chest that fits in nicely with that and of course since we need to get the duchy of whom let's uh, fabricate a claim over there and let's just have our council do their things can we proselytize? of course we can proselytize because uh, there are a lot of heretics over here we are catholic most of our land is Bogomilist. We could of course change to that religion, which would make it easier to get those heretical courtiers, since, well, any courtiers we get would be heretics, but that would piss off the Byzantine Emperor. Of course, if we uh, end up having everything else and not this, we can always just restart and uh, turn Bogomilist and then just invite a bunch of people. That would work. Anyway, let's get our non-catholic person have him marry someone and hopefully he'll uh, get us some extra bogomilists we can also check whether we can maybe invite some heretics let's see sort by religion can we find any that we can invite does not look like it right so we'll leave that there why not compose a book and of course we will join an order we will join the benedictine order and i think that's uh everything we need to do oh there are special minor titles we do want a court physician that would be quite helpful so um for now we'll be waiting to get a claim on zeklumia or whom and then uh, we'll try to conquer the land we need to take to form bosnia and then we'll try to become independent from the Byzantine Empire for which we will of course require an independence faction but the Byzantine Empire being what it is we should hopefully uh, see that happen soon enough and we get a crusade now unfortunately we don't have any sort of fleet so we're going to have to do a bit of a walk to get to Egypt but uh, hopefully everything will work out and of course we need to nominate a successor now we could nominate ourselves but that's a bit counterproductive as we uh, do need to uh, be merely 
a duke to form Bosnia. So we'll just uh, vote for the youngest person there is. Try to cause some chaos. Well, this certainly makes things interesting. Of course, if this succeeds, then the Byzantine Empire will explode, which should make it a lot easier for us to get our independence. So, although it says it's still a crusade for Egypt, maybe it will change. Let's see. Alright, it still says crusade for Egypt. So I guess we're still going for Egypt regardless of that event. And I did already raise some troops, so they are on their way to Egypt. And the reason for that is, of course, because we don't have ships, so it's going to take uh, a bit longer for them to get there. And we don't want the Pope to get angry at us for not uh, being there in time. Let's see. Uh, in the meantime, we did get Verbosna to become Catholic. And we're currently trying to convert Salines. And, uh, well, I think that's really the only interesting thing we can say about what's currently going on. Oh dear, there is a battle there. Are we winning this? I don't think we're winning this. We're not winning this, are we? Yeah, we're not. Alright, um, let's just uh, retreat. That's already half our army gone. This is not a very successful crusade for us. Let's leave the console so that we can assign ourselves to our army. Get uh, the crusader trait. And let's also make sure that any other Catholics that are in our... Uh, courts or are our direct vessels get a crusader trade as well so that everyone gets along of course um, probably some councillors who are also catholic so we'll just assign them all and after we are done with this they can go back to doing their normal stuff all right let's also make sure to again have some decent commanders and not just the worst. I'll go back to collecting taxes, training troops and all the usual things. Now let's see how much gold we managed to get out of this crusade because I don't think we'll be getting any actual uh, significant land with an army this pathetic a size. Well the uh, crusade isn't going so well. Our armies have somewhat as expected, been destroyed and uh, the Crusades, their armies in general are just not that large anymore and kind of scattered all over the place. Byzantine Emperor has had several revolts already but none for independence, however we do have our claims on uh, the stuff we need in home and we also still have a larger army so we are going to press those claims and uh, and at least if we do get independence, we'll have the land that we need. So uh, yeah, let's raise our troops and uh, get going into the rest of Bosnia. In the meantime, we have also managed to construct a well, a great tower, which means we have a stone quarry in our capital and uh, let's see, great tower. There we go. Lots of monthly prestige, and we just made a friend. That is so lovely. Let us um, let's just try to groom an heir. It's a nice uh, little ambition, I suppose. We also uh, lost our Duchy of Bosnia, so it's a good thing we created the Duchy of Sirmia, and it's now being held by uh, this fart over here, and we can't even take it back. But it doesn't matter too much. It actually gives us a little bit of a benefit because uh, the Duchy of Bosnia had a bunch of consulars that we didn't want and uh, with Sermia we only had an empowered consul and everything else was already set to ruler so that made it a bit simpler to get absolute rule which we now have so really it's just a benefit that uh, Bosnia was revoked from us and uh, well, let's see if we can get rid of these people sieging our stuff and hopefully, if we do, we'll uh, soon have all the territories we need. We're also approaching the 1500 prestige needed, so at that point we really just need to get that independence, which will admittedly be somewhat tricky, as the Byzantine Empire is a big thing, and it's mostly just overthrowing ruler revolts that are happening, not independence ones. We have 100% war score after a rather simple war. 
So that means we are now, well, in control of everything we need to be in control of. We just need to uh, become an independent ruler and get a little bit more prestige and of course a bunch of gold. And prestige and the gold, I am not too uh, worried about, but um, becoming independent is going to be a bit tricky. Uh, right now we are even on the console, so we can't even be in an independent faction, but well, there is one with 6% about, and uh, we would contribute, let's see, 46%. So we, we do contribute quite a bit, or would contribute quite a bit, but not enough to really be a threat to the Byzantine Empire. So we'll just build up our land for now and uh, maybe give the whole independence thing a try uh, later on. It seems the crusade has actually turned around. Now it was concerning for a moment when there were some revolts in the papacy and the Pope left to go back to Rome with a lot of crusaders attached. And uh, well, it looks like we also captured a Venetian due to our leash having declared a war on Venice to make them a tributary. Uh, we also have a son that is now grown up, so we married him off to a princess of the Holy Roman Empire with whom we now have an alliance and uh, hopefully we'll get some gold out of this. Not sure why it says zero. I guess we'll see what happens when the peace is made. Well we didn't get anything and neither did our son. That's um, a little bit strange. I suppose uh, there isn't really much we can do about that. We were Force, I believe, in contribution, so we really should have gotten something. Oh well, did we get any artifacts? No, nope, these are the artifacts we already had. How oh, very strange. Oh well, um, well, let's have our troops go back t home, and then uh, we will go ahead and declare a war on Raugia, because we got a claim on them, and once we have gotten that, we will try to get our independence. Let's see, claim Raugia. Ah. Looks like uh, one of the barony titles in the county we got by simply asking our leash is actually uh, a vessel to Rogia. That's annoying. But I guess that too doesn't really matter because we're about to get Rogia anyway. Oh, we can become a gardener. And now let's go ahead and get our new county. We won a battle, but unfortunately our leash is having none of it. And, uh, well, we are going to have peace again very soon due to the enforced peace. So I think we'll just go straight for independence. Let's see. They want, he wants to make me his advisor. No, not interested. We are going to get ourselves a commander and then we will demand independence. And, uh, now we're at war. Of course, we uh, want our allies to help us. What happened to our allies? Hello? Oh no. Well, that's a bit of a disaster. Our uh, good friend, the previous Kaiser, has uh, passed away. So, um, I guess we're on our own now. Um, that's not good. Let's see if we can uh, break this betrothal and then, uh, yeah, see if we can get a new alliance quickly. <laughs> um, I believe we made an alliance with the King of Sicily as well. I'm not sure why we can't call him in. I guess um, it just be that way. Let's see, call to arms. Must be a war that he can be called into. He's saying we can't call people into uh, our independence wars. That is a little bit problematic. Um, Let's just make some alliance and see if it's uh, still the case. Oh, I guess we can't form new alliances either. Alright, so um, we're just going to go ahead and resign and load the last save because this is a disaster. Alright, so apparently we cannot call in our allies uh, from outside the Byzantine Empire while we are a faction revolt. And since being a faction revolt didn't get really give us any benefits anyway, since nobody had joined us, 
we'll just go ahead and uh, well first of all get rid of this sieging army over here and then we'll just uh, declare a independence war directly on our leash rather than asking nicely for independence and uh, call in our allies that way now of course uh, we do want to make sure to have the best of best allies and right now we only have the king of Sicily so we'll just go ahead disband those and ask this lovely Kaiser um, can we have a betrothal between our granddaughter and your son hopefully that won't uh, bite us in the ass later on but for now that would be a great help for actually getting that independence she has a significant army so let's declare war we'll lose 100 pt but that is uh, an acceptable loss and um, I probably should have uh, asked for an alliance first with the uh, lovely Kaiser luckily for us he's willing to uh, form that alliance anyway and let us go ahead and defend our land while uh, waiting for our allies to show up and uh, once we hopefully win this we'll uh, be lacking uh, the gold to form Bosnia but we will have all the other requirements so uh, hopefully will be an independent Bosnia very soon well turns out our allies were completely useless Sicily did make an attempt but unfortunately their armies were crushed uh, one of these battles is uh, because of my own troops getting crushed but the other two are uh, Sicily valiantly trying to help us in our independence but failing to accomplish anything and the HRE while close at the moment are uh, more preoccupied with the war with Hungary we which has declared war on the HRE during uh, this war with the Byzantines but despite our allies being utterly useless the Byzantines decided to Byzantine and they have a faction revolt and that distracted them long enough for us to reach 100% war score due to controlling all holdings as you can see the Byzantines are currently trying to do something about it but that's uh, too late so we are finally an independent nation so let's have a look we are missing our 300 golds but we have everything else we need to form the kingdom of Bosnia um, let's see what our other objectives were we also need to have uh, some heretic company and we uh, need to be independent for 12 years without uh, dying or entering a, a war um, let's see we are 44 years old so we might be able to accomplish that with the current character let's grab the hunting focus to uh, maximize our chances of staying alive and let's uh, pray that we don't get attacked i suppose let's uh, start making a friend who's hungry as they have been rather aggressive towards their neighbors and uh, let's also improve diplomatic relations with the byzantines just in case and i think with that we'll just unpause the game and uh, let things run while we start finding people to invite now of course we want people who are not our religion because we want heretics well that's a bit of a disaster for the whole staying at peace thing but we do want to keep our alliance and that's a lot of prestige so for now we will reluctantly agree while we invite people to the court and really not do anything because uh, we need that gold that our levies would cost so yeah and of course we don't just want men female heretics are welcome too although we seem to have reached the limit of ones that we can invite or maybe we can have some that are married but it doesn't appear to be an option for us right now maybe later on we'll get some more heretics we can invite when we are a king and we're a bit more prestigious or of course we can just eventually end up being heretics ourselves and then uh, we can get as many heretics as we want for now we'll just have to do with the four that we have all right we have saved up our 300 gold so 
that has become the kingdom of Bosnia. That's an uh, interesting shade of green. And uh, we of course have our de jure territory as we needed that territory to form Bosnia in the first place. And well now that we're a king, we should appoint an advisor I suppose. And let's also change those council laws. Unfortunately because we are currently at war we cannot organize a coronation ceremony. So we'll have to wait until the HRE finishes up that business and well with battles like that that might take a while oh well we'll uh, just continue existing well the uh, war ended in white peace unfortunately we did get cancer in the meantime and uh, we got rid of it by losing our eye which resulted in uh, an infection so I'm not sure whether this character is going to uh, survive for the uh, 12 years of peace but uh, well we can always hope and in the meantime got a few extra heretics let's just check whether we can get some more in the meantime while we have the game just running and uh, as you can see we're also trying to become immortal if we do become immortal then that should uh, definitely help with the whole trying to stay alive thing and look at that, we can invite someone to join our court. So there we go, we have silver now. Is there anything else? No, we don't have any other uh, people we can invite. But we can uh, get this man married and... Uh, well, that should at least lead to even more heretics in our court, which is good. So let's make sure to do that. Well, we'll just... Uh, continue with what we've been doing that is to say keeping the game running at maximum speed and hoping that we'll uh, get our challenges done well it would appear our uh, marriage strategy has paid off enough heretics were born for us to get gold on the heretical company challenge so now all we need to do is uh, maintain our peace for seven more years so let's hope that uh, none of our neighbors suddenly decides that we make for a tempting target of course our uh, friends in the hre are allies so they shouldn't want to attack us but well the byzantines may want to get their land back and the hungarians are just declaring war on everyone so they could strike us at any moment as well but uh, let's just hope for the best and also let us uh, decline this that's a lot of prestige we're losing but we don't want to reset our progress right now and there's our silver so just four more years that our one-eyed king Kulin needs to rule and then uh, we'll have our challenges for bosnia completed hooray we have a puppy and one extra health should hopefully be enough to get us through those last two years and uh, well hopefully nobody will declare war on us in that time either and in the meantime we've just been building up holdings throughout Bosnia so that uh, we can imagine that at some point in the future there will be a wealthy and powerful Bosnia at a crossroads between all of these empires or maybe as soon as uh, we stop looking it'll all get conquered by their neighbors who knows we won't find out we'll just know that we got our challenges done hopefully and there we go we have completed the last of our challenges all in the lifetime of King Kulin who is now 60 years old fun thing to note is that uh, our dynasty is uh, well, pretty much certain to inherit Poland. Not only is the current queen married to one of my sons, but even her sister. So uh, Poland and Bosnia will hopefully share a fruitful alliance in the future that will never be, as we are going to stop this campaign here. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry for the delay between this and the previous video. 
I had some issues with my screen breaking down and I've also been busy with work so haven't had uh, much time or motivation to get this video done but here we are again a new video and with any luck the next video won't take as long to show up on my channel if you want to make sure that you do see it as soon as it appears make sure to subscribe and i think you're supposed to hit a bell icon or something uh you know what to do until that video though have a great time and i hope you have enjoyed this video and will enjoy the next one